I'm here at the Westminster Skate Park, and there's an amazing story about how this place was renovated by students in Carroll County. The park had seen better days, but the community came together and made this place awesome. I'm Bob Lloyd. I'm one of the skater dads, one of the members of the skateboard committee for the uh, skate park here in Westminster. And uh, I'm completely blown away with how well the skate park has turned out. Uh, it all began um, one day when I got back into skateboarding and myself and Steve Vogel came up to the skate park and noticed that there was a need for some, uh, some work to be done. I'm Steve Vogel and I'm one of the skater dads. My son rides and we were up here riding on the old park and things were looking a little run down. So I, uh, on Monday morning I called up Ron Schroers at Parks and Rec and said, hey, you know, we're riding up there and things are looking a little run down. Is there anything we can do to make it a little bit better? And he said that, uh, well, hey, I just got $130,000. Can we make something work out of that? And I said, we will. Steve called me and said, you know, I, I, I've been up visiting your skate park, and he goes, it really needs some help. And I said, well, guess what, Steve? I just got $130,000 from the state. I said, so will that work? And, and of course, Steve said, absolutely. Um, and then I think what happened was is Steve went across the street to his friend Bob Lloyd. Bob, raise your hand. And, uh, and uh, Bob said, uh, well, yeah, that sounds good to me. So the three of us actually had our first uh, meeting together. And they had a skate park committee meeting at the, at the Westminster Skate Park, the existing one. We have, my son and I went up there because we were real curious to see if they were going to talk about the design and how much money they had and, and what would happen. And uh, we went up there and, and they had a terrific meeting with the kids and they were handing out uh, slips with uh, websites and, and email contacts and getting people on board so that they can involve the community with it. And so I handed them one of, you know, my name and number and said, you know, I'm here to help if you guys need anything from me. I have, you know, I'm an engineer. I have some estimating skills and construction skills and, and uh, I can help you out in any way you need. And so uh, they emailed me that week and said, yes, we got another meeting coming up and, you know, we'd love for you to, to join us and uh, talk about it. And that's where that's where uh, it began. We decided then that it was going to be a community project and certainly it couldn't be done without getting the community involved. Here we are two years later and this is what we ended up with and uh, it's quite outstanding. Well, the reason why the city of Westminster decided to build a skate park 10 years ago was is there was a need in the community. Um, skateboarding was really on the rise in Westminster, and uh, most people don't know it, but actually it's illegal to skateboard on sidewalks and streets in Westminster. So with the skateboarding population grown, we really found a need to put a, a skate park in the city of Westminster. We're here at the entrance of the Westminster City Skate Park, the existing one, soon to be renovated by the students of Carroll County Public Schools Career and Technology Center, and we're very excited about that. We've, uh, it's been a couple year project going on getting this moving, and uh, we've, all these uh, existing ramps are gonna be replaced with brand new ramps. You're gonna see a new concrete slab, the fence go down, and, and uh, we've, we've been working with the Recreation and Parks Council here uh, to make this happen. So it's a team effort. Let's go inside and take a look. One of the nice features about our new design is we get to have the existing fence removed for a really nice open park atmosphere. One of the features that's causing of the renovation and uh, for, for a, a newer park as we need it here is the wear and tear. This is a great example of how weather and, and abuse over many years can uh, put harm in, and create safety concerns for the park. As you can see here, the existing surface is all delaminated all the way down to the substrate wood. Uh, we have lots of puddling around us with the water. It'll sit here. Um, so it, it's, not, you know, it's not nice to skate down these types of surfaces because you can fall and get hurt. And so that's one of the major concerns and reasons why we are renovating. And our new uh, half pipe is going to have a proper slope. It's going to take care of a lot of these issues. One of the features of the new ramps that the city pointed out that they wanted is the implementation of closing the back side of the ramps in. This eliminates a lot of the trash and debris that gets collected from the wind and whatnot going underneath, and so we can keep the park cleaner 
and protect moisture better from heading underneath the ramps and eroding any of the wood. We just happened to be lucky enough to run into a bunch of skaters using the park, even on a rainy day like this, a dreary day. Also, the park's a little dreary. It's, uh, as you guys can see, it's probably seen better days, a little beat up. Uh, wouldn't you say? Don't you think maybe the park needs to be fixed up a little bit or anything? Yes. Yeah, just, just, just a little bit. Yeah. Just, just a little bit. You've been asking or hoping for anything like that? Yeah, for yeah. the past two years, since like seventh grade. For what we wanted in our park, the pricing came back at over $350,000. And based on that, we were in shock at that point in time. We're like, there's no way that we're going to be able to make this project happen. And we had a bunch of skater dads get involved with the city and try to figure out a good way to renovate the park with what funds we have. And so we went out with some proposals, and the proposals came back way too high. We couldn't afford anything. We even went the route to thinking, all right, well, we might just be able to repair the ramps. The kids like the design. We'll just repair the ramps and go that way. Well, one of our committee members, Jim Marks, who works for the Carroll County Public School Systems, he's a project manager. He is on my committee, and how he got on my committee was, as a parent, he showed up on one of the community days to where our committee was up on site asking the skaters for their input about what they wanted. We went from there, talked to the kids. They gave us an idea of what they wanted and um, went to Google SketchUp, and that's a great program. It's free. It's on the Internet. We designed our park there. And once you download that, you can actually create your park right at your committee meetings. If you look behind me here, this entire park was created by Google SketchUp. So you definitely want to consider that when you're putting your park together. We designed a completely new design with a 11 foot high uh, wall ride. Um, we have a 40 foot, we have, we have two half pipes in this park that are going to be in the back. One's going to be 40 feet wide. It's going to start six foot with a seven foot extension. And the other half pipe's going to be 35, 40 feet long, and that's going to be a four foot half pipe with a five foot extension on the side also. They're also going to bleed lines that flow into this side of the park. This will remain the, the street side of the park. And we get to build more that the, now that the city's let us take the fence down so we can extend the park all the way out to the outer boundaries. So you guys all right with that? Yes. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. As we had more of the community accept this, the skaters obviously, as they saw the design develop, uh, they loved it. They just, it was tremendous. It has a lot more features than the other park. It's faster, it's concrete based. Um, it has Skate Light Pro throughout the whole park, high end durable materials, uh, wild features. They're gonna love this. So as we were having meetings and we were running into these roadblocks, uh, uh, Jim said, hey, well, you know, the school system's not building relocatables this year and they don't have a whole lot of projects going on. Let me talk to the principal over there and see if we can't, you know, possibly take this project on. So what we decided to try was introducing the plan of having the students at the Career and Technology Center actually build the ramps. That way the labor's free, we can buy more materials and build more of a park. So if we renovated this park with our $130,000 worth of money with outside companies renovating it um, and not the students, we, we'd see a third of the ramps here. Mr. Marks had met with uh, uh, Ms. Engel, the principal at the Career and Tech Center, and also Mr. Alder, who is in the wood shop, and uh, they